Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. Today is Sunday, September 17th, 2023. Jennifer is with me here today, and we are here on the streets of Bisbee, Arizona, a place I've only been to really one time before. We went to the mines a couple weeks ago, but did not come into Bisbee proper, so to speak. So here we are, uh, no real plan today. We're just gonna take a walk around Bisbee and see what we can find. We're inviting you to come along with us. So we are here in front of the Bisbee Mining Historical Museum, a place I've never been into before, which is apparently part of the Copper Queen Plaza. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. The museum is open. This feels like a very old building. Hello. Oh, hi. Thank you. Are you, do you take, are you allowing pictures in here and stuff like that? Okay, cool. Okay. Dang, look at the size of this tire. Yeah. Can easily walk right through it. Well, they got more stuff back here too, huh? Mm -hmm. That is a very old school cash register. And here we see a clock grandfather clock built in 1898. Wow. That's 
that's really nice. Bisbee Mining Museum. We were told this building was built in 1898, I believe it was. 1897. And still here today. Admission to the Bisbee Mining Museum is $10 each for adults. You definitely get a sense walking through these streets of how old this town actually is. You see how close everything is together. And uh, the stuff here is not as old as what you're gonna find in Tombstone, but it's pretty close. I think most of Bisbee was lost in fires through the years. So these brick buildings, I believe, were built in the early 1900s. But still an interesting place to take a walk around. Look at this street. Bisbee Massacre happened right up here. Yeah. This building right here, the last time we came to Bisbee, we took a tour of the town. And if I remember correctly, our guide told us that this was the first J.C. Penney, or one of the first J.C. Penneys that was ever built. You can see they still have the tile work in the ground here. The building is still here, not a J.C. Penney anymore, but still here. Let's keep going. Over here you have the inn at Castle Rock, which I don't remember exactly what year this was built, but I know it's a very, very old hotel. And last time we were here, our guide told us that back in the 1800s, maybe early 1900s, there was a guy up on that balcony up there cleaning his gun, and somehow the gun ended up going off. And there was a woman walking down here on the sidewalk, and that bullet hit her right in the head. She died instantly, like right over here somewhere. They say it's a very haunted hotel. I've never stayed there. Maybe someday we will. You can see some old foundations left behind in this area of old buildings that came down long ago. His being Tombstone have a lot in common. They were both pretty popular around the same time in history. They're both historic mining towns. But for whatever reason, it seems to me like Tombstone preserved their history a little better than Bisbee did. Perfect example of that is right over here, somewhere right over here on the other side of the street is where the Bisbee Massacre took place. But you wouldn't know that because there are no markers, there's no signs. As far as I can tell, there's absolutely nothing 
that indicates where that historic event took place. But it was one of these shops right through here. I don't remember exactly which one. How you doing? Good. Quick question for you. Sure. Is this like right here where the Bisbee massacre happened, do you know? You know what, somebody asked me that yesterday and I honestly don't think so. Don't think so? No. Okay. I was able to find one plaque. So I just stopped into two different shops because according to our tour guide, last time we were here, the Bisbee massacre occurred somewhere right through here. And uh, like I said, there's no signs or plaques or anything. That was a major, historic event so you'd think there would be some kind of designation but there's not uh stopped into one of the stores uh the lady in there didn't know she said to ask the lady next door i asked her she didn't know but uh yeah there, the lady did say that sometimes the tour guides had the story a little bit and a good place to be or a good place to ask rather would be uh, back at the museum where we uh, were earlier so i'm gonna go back there and ask them and see if we can get to the bottom of this i know we get some of that in tombstone but All right. All right. Since the two fires, 1908 and 1918, burned down most buildings in the canyon. Right. And had to be rebuilt. Only a few uh, freestanding buildings, like the office building we're in, mm -hmm. were spared the damage. Take a photo of that hill because we can see that. Yeah. Outside looking up, which means where the post office is right now, the post office and library. Uh huh. That's probably right up that way. That's probably yeah. one of those two buildings. All right, cool. So that's got to be it. Yeah. But those buildings were built between 1890 and 1910. So that would have been after that yeah, event occurred. Was the okay. You know, another thing I heard was that this building right here yeah. was the first one to be built by Del Webb. Is that true? Yes. In fact, there's a plaque over there saying who hit there on Del Webb. Oh, that cool. Was his very first job out of college. Right. Phelps College had that kind of Like 1920, movie. something it's like that? Down there. Okay. There's a brass plaque right next to it. We'll go look at it. And uh, yeah, so that was his very first design job, which is why the old mercantile looks like an Art Deco. Yeah. Still cool. It's I cool looking, yeah. It just it doesn't look old west, that's for sure. <laughs> no, no, it was probably one of the first buildings in town that didn't that changed over yeah. from the brickwork to something more modern. Although the courthouse was an early example of what would become Art Deco. Yeah. But you can imagine that the basement down there where there's a church, that's where you picked up your picks and your shovels and your jackets and your and your hard hats. Right. You had Restaurants, yep. general goods throughout here for everybody uh, in in the old Bisbee itself. And upstairs where the coffee brewing company uh -huh. was literally high fashion imported from from Paris and London and New York City. Right, right. Wife. When we had that right big up there. giant photo of the, of the trolley, uh -huh. that trolley literally just came from here, went over to Warren, that's where all the single ham family homes were built down that way but you still had to shop up here yeah so the executives and would come in with their wives in the morning and they would come to work here in various buildings throughout the area uh, or the judges lawyers etc would all come in to work uh, and their wives would then go shopping and take the trolley back to one makes sense all right, all right well, well again thank you very much for taking the time i appreciate you Always. said there was a plaque here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. But from what I remember on the tour I took, this building was built sometime in the early 20s, I want to say. He told me it was the same year that The Wizard of Oz came out, whatever that was. 
But at least we were able to confirm that this was the first building built by Del Webb. Isby, Arizona. Well, sometimes it can be hard to get the facts straight, especially in a town this old. And prominently where a lot of people don't really come here for the history. They come here for everything else, the nightlife and the shops. And that's all good too. But, you know, as far as what actually happened here, it seems like even the people in the museum were not quite clear. I think the story was pretty much accurate. I think our tour guide was pretty much accurate with where it actually happened. Based on what I read in that book, his dis dis uh, description or depiction, I should say, of how it actually went down was pretty much accurate. The only thing that is really hard to tell is where exactly it happened. And it looks like the buildings where that actually occurred have been long gone. Right there in center frame is the historic Copper Queen Hotel. Still in operation. All right, folks, well, that's gonna wrap it up for our walk around Bisbee today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Well, uh, maybe come back. The like guy said, come back on a Monday when the historians are here and they have a lot more information. And uh, hopefully someone has some information because there wasn't a whole lot of it to go around today. But that's it from Bisbee. You have anything else to add? No. She has nothing to add. So from Bisbee, Arizona, until next time, until the next video, see you down the road.